Okay then, before I start today's Jabba Sanshiro setup guide for a Windows PC, if you like what you see, stay, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide, plus it really helps out my channel too. So here it is, this was released a couple of days ago and this is celebrating the 30th anniversary of the Sega Saturn. This is the latest stable release of Yabba Sanshiro. So let's get into this. What we're going to need for this setup guide is a BIOS file, some games in bin Q format or even CHD. If you've just got bin Q files, then I'm going to show you very simply how to convert this into CHD. What is CHD? It's going to get rid of all those annoying unnecessary bin and Q files and it's going to put it all into one single file, which is also going to save you space. So let's take a look at the websites here. The links are going to be in my description for this. We're going to need the latest version of Yabba Sanchiro. If we just go to download and we are going to download the latest stable 1.16.5 zip. If I just download this one, that's going to download. Now, whilst we're on the internet, what we're going to do next is download a program called chdman.zip just here. Like I said, links are going to be in my description, so we're just going to download this one too. Okie dokes. So, back on the desktop, I've got a few folders here. So, what I've got is my BIOS file, and this is Saturn underscore BIOS.bin. And I've also got the emulator itself, which downloads into a zip folder. So what we're going to do first is just extract the folder inside of here. And this is where the emulator is. Okay, so once that's been extracted, we can now delete the zip folder. Okay, next up, I have got a bins folder. Now, I've got a few games in here in .bin.q, and as you can see, these are very annoying, and they're totally unnecessary of this day and age. If you recall just a second ago, I downloaded CHD Man, and this also downloads into a zip folder. What I'm going to do is just create a new folder on the desktop for now, new folder, and I'm going to just call this CHD Man. And what I'm going to do is just extract those files into that folder. Kidokes, and I'm also going to delete that zip folder of CHD man. We no longer need that. So anyways, we're going to go back into my bins folder where my .q and .bin games are. We got KO just here. What we're going to do then is start converting these bin Q file games into CHD files. So what I'm going to do is go into CHD man folder. I'm going to highlight by left clicking chdman.exe. I'm going to hold down my control key as well as left clicking on the file just there which says QGDI ISO to chd.bat. If I then right click and what I'm going to do next is go back into that folder containing my game with all of those bin files and just paste those two files. I'm then going to double left click on that .bat file. And here we go, as we can see, it's now compressing and this is going to start converting my game into CHD. Okay, and once that's finished, we should then find the .chd file in that same folder with the .bin and Q files. So what we're going to do is just copy that .chd and I'm just going to paste that into my CHD games folder. And we no longer need that folder anymore containing the bins and the Q files, so we can just delete that very easily. So let's set up Sanshiro itself. So what I'm going to do is open up the folder, and I'm going to create a new folder inside, and I'm going to call this one Games. And in my Games folder, I'm going to just drag and drop my free CHD games inside of there. And I've also got my BIOS file. I'm also going to just drag and drop loosely inside of that Sanshiro emulator folder. Okay, so let's actually open up the emulator itself then. So we're going to open this up by going down to yabasanshiro.exe. Double left click, more info, run anyway. And here we go then. So right now we just need to go to select directory. 
and what we're going to do is find the games. I'm going to go to desktop for this and I'm going to find here Yabba San Shiro. If I go into games, just left click so it's highlighted, select folder. Now this is how cool the emulator is nowadays. We've actually got this really nice looking interface complete with artwork. What we next need to do is just set up a controller. So I'm using an Xbox controller for this. I'm gonna just navigate up to where that little spanner is or wrench and just left click on settings there. I'm gonna go over to the input tab. I'm gonna go down to DirectX input interface because I'm using an Xbox controller. Under port one, I'm gonna go to the wrench there edit configuration and I can then map out my controller if I left click on the up on the d-pad there and just correspond that with my Xbox controller and once that's done if I just go to close Okay, as you can see, that's running perfectly. Now, if you're wondering how to get into full screen, it's just a simple case of pressing the Alt and Enter button on your keyboard, and that's going to change from window mode into full screen mode, and vice versa. Once you're in the game and you want to go back to window mode, Alt in enter. So what else can we do with this? Let's take a look at some video settings. Again, if we go up to the little spanner or wrench just there, this is going to open up the settings menu from here. If we go to video, what we can do from here is go to video core first. Now, if you're finding any issues that your games are giving you a black screen or they're not playing properly, just simply change this to OpenGL, although Vulkan works just fine for me straight out of the box. We can also change the aspect ratio. Uh, by default, this is running it 4x3 or original aspect ratio. We can fade the screen or we can go to 16x9. Now, let me just say, if you run this at 16x9, your games are likely going to look stretched, but really, that's entirely up to you in down to preference we also got full screen resolution for this so i'm going to keep mine to 1920 by 1080 p we also got the option here to change video format from ntsc to pow again i'm going to just leave this to default we can actually start the games in full screen so once you open up a game by double left clicking instead of pressing alt and enter it will literally start in full screen i'm going to actually enable this one now at the bottom just here we got render quality now if i just select high what we can do here is go to internal resolution and by default this is going to run it the native resolution of window we can actually upscale internally to 1080p for the best look if we go to rgb resolution we can put this to say 1080p if that's what you want and we've also got the option to use compute shader for rbg generation which is pretty much hd backgrounds what i'm going to do is just leave this one on if you get any issues with sound then if we go to the sound tab at the top sound core by default for me this is on sdl sound interface you should try direct x sound interface if you're getting no sound and that might clear up the issue for you if we go to the cart memory tab some games for sega saturn would take advantage over extra ram so you've got the option here to change this over to something else now a really nice feature with this is we got a shortcuts tab just here and what this is going to do is list different key combinations for different bits and pieces for when you're playing games for example if i wanted to pause the game it's telling me just here that the f2 key will pause we also can change this, so if I just put the letter P in, I can then customize it, so P is then going to pause the game. We can also save and load games within Yabba San Shiro, so I'm going to open up one of my games. If I go to In The Hunt, okay, so what I'm going to do next is just play a little bit of this game, and I'm going to show you how to save states in load states. So I'm going to press Alt and Enter just to go back into window mode. And in order to save, I'm going to go to File, Save State. And I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to call this In The Hunt. If I go to Save. Now, if I play the game a little bit further. Okay, and I'm now going to load back where I've just saved it from. So we're going to go to File, Load State, From File. And here's my game save.
double left click and here we go we're now back to the same state And that's it for the latest release of Yaba Sanshiro. So as you can see in this video, it's a major upgrade from the previous release of this really awesome emulator. Just remember for best performance and even the developer of Yaba Sanshiro recommends that you convert your .bin and .gu files into CHD for best performance. Plus it's also going to save you space on your hard drive too, which is very cool. If you're new to my channel, I'm going to leave a link in my comments section for all of my standard own emulators that i've uploaded guides for so if you like the video today hit notifications subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel just jamie also be sure to check me out on social media i'm on facebook instagram twitter and tiktok but until next time stay retro